as you develop intimacy, sexual activity does not take place only when your hormones are zinging. Sexual expression takes place continuously. As you walk into a market, you can carry on a conversation about your sexuality. You don't have to lock that experience into the bedroom or when you are having a drink or within certain little boxes of performance. You are going to be infused with this energy. It is part of what will train you about your divinity. It is essential. You have many things to look forward to in the sexual arena. Stay open, evaluate your present beliefs around sexuality, and explore your boundaries. Sexuality is your birthright and your heritage as humans. It is your gift from the gods. Time is a construct. On Earth, you have been under the assumption that the present springs from the past. We suggest that the present springs from the future as well. Time has many doorways through it, and the past and future both have their own validity and importance. This is all part of the ever-expanding now. The past, in its now, continues to influence its ongoing now. These ongoing nows continue to grow and mature, the same as their future counterparts. The assignment you are on involves changing your past as you spring from the future in order to create a different present. You are ruled by cycles and rhythms. A main influence that designs the pulse of life is the moon. Through the moon cycles and by the revolving of Earth on her axis and Earth's rotation around the sun, you make and define time. The moon, of course, in orbit around the Earth, acts as Earth's celestial companion on the cyclical journeys. Until the advent of electricity, these were the rhythms through which life was lived and defined for thousands of years. People could watch time pass. Day turned into night, and night turned into day. Time had distinctions. People could watch the seasons pass, and time was based on something that could be verified. With electricity came the breaking of these rhythms, where there could be light past dark. People began to use time differently, for functioning with light while it was dark heralded a radically different approach to the 24-hour day because electric light provided more moments to expand into. When people first worked around computers, their concepts of time completely changed, and they could only handle so much of a distortion. Now that people are trained in computers, their altered time perception is passed on through the generations, and time is more sped up. However, the computer is a third-dimensional manifestation mirroring the collapse and distortion of time, and people fed the results of this into the mass psyche. This permits people like you to weave things together and perceive reality from a significant psychic viewpoint, a different point in time. The splitting of the second and the infusion of the computer heralded the technological boom of this century, completely changing everything and speeding your consciousness toward untold probabilities. The second and the moment continuously hold more events. Time has a variable now. It cannot be measured and clocked any longer. You can change, bend, and move time. As time collapses, new concepts, ideas, inventions, and alternatives are bombarding the mass psyche of the planet every few moments. Probabilities of the moment are awakening and expanding through your experience of self-realization. Because you have mastered an affinity to connect with intelligence outside the planet, Collectively, the planet is beginning to qualify for a higher rate of intelligence and responsibility. Though it may appear your world is reeking with corruption, please be aware that both polarities are going on at the same time. Those who carry light are becoming very empowered, and in a few years you will be amazed at the force of these people, for they are you. 
One belief you have in common is your belief in a new version of reality in which people express their freedom with respect, harmony, and cooperation, and in which Earth and each form of life, animal, plant, mineral, and human, is valued. The Maya called themselves day keepers. We call them keepers of time. They are associated, of course, with the Pleiades system. They are masters at going into and out of time events. They are also masters at creating time locks. They cordon things off so that events can be directly in front of you and because of the time locks, you do not see them. Time locks keep your consciousness from perceiving simultaneous time. The keepers of time that orchestrate events are like balls of light with rays that travel into many different realities and directions. The Mayan keepers of time were able to anchor on Earth the data that would make sense to future generations because they were multidimensional. They could travel backward, forward, and sideways in time, and their civilization was based upon time travel. They left many clues to this story buried throughout the land of Mexico. Their now became more meaningful because it was their purpose to grow a now that would benefit nows outside of their now. The Maya meant to create the paradigm, the description of what is going to occur, the cycles that your earth goes through, and the cycles of time that are based on cosmic doorways. Earth's cycles with the sun, moon, and planets within your solar system have a significant effect on your physical electromagnetic body. The Maya understood that the Earth is involved in a larger system of rotation than just the solar system. That system of rotation was based on different numerical divisions. The Maya created and defined time in your system based upon their knowing that you were part of much larger cycles.